What's up guys, Golfshan17 and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I cover all things golf. And uh, today we're at San Namir Country Club and welcome to episode three of Journey of the Three. And uh, we are here at San Namir playing the fourth hole. So why don't we just take a quick look at it. Okay, we've got about 152 to the back of the pin. I just took a trial shot, it, it was terrible. So let's let's try this again. Um, yeah, I've got 99. Let's <laughs> uh, playing the Toby XS. Let's see what we can do. Let's try and get it somewhere near the green. I think the wind's picked up. Actually, going to change over to 8 iron. So you got an 8 iron. 152 back of the green. Breeze picking up. Um, Let's aim it out to the right with the wind bring it in. So yeah, let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, I think we've just flown the green away. I think we just went way over the green. Um, yeah, I think I over club. Definitely coastal conditions. It's tough to judge coming from Joburg as well. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty much not in a great position. So let's go take a look and, and see what, what <laughs> this episode has in store for us. So, hit two balls, one is a bit left, and one actually that I thought went way over is actually just over. Um, I think uh, my eyesight's just a bit bad. So yeah, I mean, look at the views. It's crazy. Um, condition of the course is unreal. Um, thanks to Maya for having us out here. We also here with Complete Golfer. And yeah, um, let's see, I'm literally just over, just pitched past pin high and uh went a bit over the green so let's see if we can maybe chip in for birdie on the second ball uh everyone's allowed a mulligan now and again and yeah let's see let's see how it goes okay so second ball just a bit long just past pin high as well so got a good chance probably breaking a bit of the left uh got a sandwich uh let's see if we can just little little bump and run Oh, okay. Seems like we're fighting for yet another part in the series. So, probably got a little bit of what five footer, but off the right. Let's see if we can uh, avoid an, another bogey. Um, I think it's 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 one out of two so far. So let's see if we can keep the part streak going. Okay, uh, just put another bogey on the card. Um, that's a beautiful hole. Thanks to San Demir for having us out here. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at some drone footage. So let's look at the few things I like about this part three. So the green complex is almost divided into two spots. Um, so I feel like they can really place pin locations in really tough spots. 
and really isolate either side of the green because there's bunkers on the left and bunkers on the right. Um, I think brilliant par three and it doesn't play too long either. So in a sense, you want to be quite attacking, but you can't really be. Um, water short, so you can't really afford with the longest club you're going to hit you is probably an eight iron um, like I did today. Um, can't really can't really leave it short at all. Um, so yeah, beautiful par three. Bunkers are placed beautifully. Always, if you're in one of these bunkers, you're going to be thinking about the water. So I think very well executed in terms of design and, and execution um, in terms of making it tough for the golfer because you only have an eight iron in your hand. Um, so yeah, one of the beautiful part threes here at San Amir and I'll probably be out here quite soon doing yet another one. So stay tuned for that and thanks for tuning in guys.